Yes, yes, yes. Mr. Raphael Dawkins with the Combat Radio. At it. Okay. Let's get a little bit more volume on that. As a matter of fact, rat tat tat tat. Right, so you are in tune to Boxing Talk with Rafi, but it's going to be a quick one. It's not going to be a long thing. This is really... This is really a post-fight analysis, a post-fight analysis of the, as a matter of fact, rat -tat -tat -tat, let's just get the proper heading down below. Okay, so, okay, so Shannon Courtney loses. Is that losses there? Does that say losses or loses? Okay, I'm going to have to correct that. Loses to Rachel Abor. Um, Boxing Talk with Rafi, 161. Oh, there it is. Rachel Ball, an emotional Rachel Ball reflects on on the shock win over Shannon Courtney. Um, can I play this? Am I allowed? Are they going to kick me off? Rachel, Rachel, you say coming into this, this is my world title fight. Congrats. You've won it. Try and put it into words for us. Oh, God. Sorry. <laughs> I'm really a big crier as well. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel says she's a really ugly crier. <laughs> Self-awareness is a great thing. Uh, opinion. Uh, another Brummy. Uh, you should do an interview. Visit the gym. Uh, I'll super chat travel expenses. Damn, James, James, James is coming through. He's coming through for the Raphael Dawkins Combat Radio. Um, I was thinking about that anyway, James. I was thinking about interviewing her, but... Going down to the gym, that is a sparkling idea. That's a sparkling idea. Um, that's a very good idea. Which I just have it tough. OMG. Um, was it a case of a hype job being exposed? In comes the prudent man. Um, a hype job being exposed. Are we going to talk about that? Because I'm going to give you my... We ain't here for a long time. We're here for a good time. Uh, it's going to be a short one, but I'm going to give you my breakdown, not just of the fight, but of of the the something in the background, something in the background which gave Rachel Ball, in my mind, a distinct advantage. A distinct advantage. I'm running out of water. I'm just sharing in that little corner there. Okay, that might be a good idea to make it so small. Okay, now the thing is here you can see you can see the the, the the ex kickboxer and you can see both her hands. Why are they both wearing white gloves? Hmm. Why? Why are they both wearing white gloves? Okay. Anyway, you can see Rachel's hands up here. That's the left hand and that's the right. You see you see where 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 where, where are the hands protecting the jaw, protecting the chin, protecting the mush, and. Uh, in contrast, okay, I know she's attacking, but if we scroll through these pictures, you will always see Shannon Courtney's hands low. They're down by the nipple instead of the chin. Now, look at the kickboxer. So, I'll go into this now. I told you it's going to be a, a, a good one, not a long one. So, I'll get into this now. I was going to save this, but I'll get into this now. Now, because of the kickboxing... Now, okay, let's get into it. All right. Kickboxing training. Let me tell you about kickboxing training. Kickboxing training is a lot of drills, um, a lot of drills which are not performed alone, but a lot of drills performed against an opponent. So you'll say, for for in this in this position, for example, you'll say, okay, Shannon, you do a low kick, low inside kick. That's a kick with the shin to the inside of the thigh. Okay, it's very uncomfortable, but you'll do that, and now the instructor may say, okay. On an inside low kick, inside the leg low kick, followed by, well, actually, you probably start off with a jab, low kick, um, maybe another low kick, or maybe a front kick, a T kick. So you might go jab, low kick, T kick, left, right. So left, low kick, T kick to the abdomen, and then follow, followed up by a left, right combo. Okay, so now Shannon would do that, and then Rachel would do that, and then Shannon would do that, 
and then Rachel would do that. So you're working together. You're working together. You're working together at all times. Whereas in boxing, that's that's that 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 often doesn't happen. When you go in, in boxing, oftentimes when you get in the ring, um, you're sparring. <laughs> you're always sparring. Whenever you're facing an opponent in boxing, you're always sparring. Most often than not, you're always hitting each other. And um, there's always the fear that the person's going to hit you really hard and then you might hit them back really hard. So it's not a relaxed, it's not a relaxed thing. Whereas in kickboxing, you do the most of the time, most of the time, or for a large percentage of the time, you're actually working together with a partner. It's, you're like a dance partner. You literally, it's literally like a dance partner where you're simply working techniques. Um, and that a lot of time is spent in kickboxing, simply working techniques. So what is the, so, so, so what's the point, Rafi? What's the point? What's the point? Um, <laughs> I chest you mad, man. You can't say nips. Surely not in women's boxing. Well, listen, here's the thing. Men have nipples and women have nipples. It, it's not, a, it's not gender specific. Um, even dogs have nipples. In fact, I think all mammals is it, am I right in saying that all mammals have nipples? So it's not gender specific. Uh, we can't forget that. Certainly not gender specific. So you got to keep them up, Shannon. Away from the nips and uh, up to the tip of the chin. Um, okay. So a lot of time in kickboxing, you're working techniques. Now, this is the outcome. The outcome is that you're way more relaxed. The kickboxer is way more relaxed in the ring. Look at Look at the posture here. We've got perfect posture, perfect posture from so many hours of simply what I call soft sparring. So many hours of soft sparring in kickboxing. The kickboxers get into the ring more relaxed than a boxer. The boxer is all wound up tight because so much of the training is spent hitting, hitting somebody. Whereas so much of the training in kickboxing is spent it's spent just working techniques with a partner, with your dance partner, working techniques. And the outcome is that uh, the kickboxer, and e even the kickboxer, when they, when they become a boxer, and they're a novice boxer, they're way more relaxed because they've spent way more relaxed time in the ring working on the technique. And, and, and look at the difference. They're both on five fights, I think, somewhere around that. That. But um, one is in perfect, perfect stance, and the other, you don't know what the hell's going on. Okay, you could say, well, Raph, you just freeze framed it. She could have been mid transitioning. Okay, well, let's randomly go. There we go again. I've just randomly scrolled forward, and um, you see good posture or relatively good posture, and you see what the hell's going on here. <laughs> okay. But you say, Rafi, you just you just randomly, she could be transitioning. Okay. Well, boom, once again, you see good posture and you see what the hell's going on there. <laughs> and I'm not laughing at I'm not laughing at Courtney because I, I've got a soft spot for Courtney. I've got a soft spot for Courtney. Some of you may or may not know. If you don't know, um, I'll leave a link to the playlist, the women's boxing playlist, and you will see Shannon Courtney's transformation from fat, fat. What what, what 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 they might call in pub culture from a fat bird to a fit bird you know she got fit through training um so i do have a soft spot for shannon but uh, once again you see good posture versus what the hell's going on there that's the difference because shannon came into this she'd never done any sports before of note and this girl's coming from kickboxing so hours and hours or thousands of hours thousands of hours in the ring whereas shannon i don't know how many hours of shannon got how many hours of shannon had inspiring so there's a vast difference vast difference in a ring time okay we're gonna randomly scroll oh we've gone too far we're randomly scrolling once again well both of them in kind of transitioning there okay fair enough but then boom okay both of them in fairly diff diff decent poses but not really because one's got the hands up and the tother the tother has not so once again okay they're both transitioning both are low there i think that uh i think that rachel's gonna throw something let's have a look no boom no 
Uh, and once again, look at Shannon. Look at Shannon. It's just unavoidable. It is absolutely unavoidable. You can't ignore the fact that the posture is poor all the way through. You simply can't avoid that. Um, okay, I'm going to get to the. I'm going to get into the. I'm going to get into the chat very shortly. But uh, allow me to continue um, with my my views on this thing. Okay, so once again, posture is poor. Let's go forward a little bit more. Oh, <laughs> I reiterate, I like Shannon, but but you know, one is in good posture. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this left about to about to land. Okay, well, actually, Shannon got her. Fair play to Shannon. Fair play to Shannon. And we continue and we scroll on. There's a danger here of um, Sky Sports. Sky Sports interference. So I've got to be careful with this. But okay, let us continue. Okay, so what happens there? Once again, Shannon with a <laughs> Shannon with the hands, but okay, she's throwing, she's throwing. Okay, but look, 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 even in the midst of it, even in the midst of it, look where look where Rachel's right hand is. Look where Rachel's right glove is. It's right up by her face. The only hand that is not by a chin protecting herself is the hand that's throwing. Look at that. Look at that. That 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 that. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go into the chat for a second. And go into a chat for a second. Uh, finding sparring must be tricky at the moment. Well, yeah, well, yeah, but that the, the same applies for both parties, though. So I can't say that's too much of a factor. Next time Lisa is in, I ask her. <laughs> Omg! <laughs> Omg! How do you do, Mister Iron Kong, up in the Bill Din? Um, Antonio Barrera, definitely baby faced. He could have been another baby faced assassin in boxing. So there have been baby faces, baby faced assassins in boxing uh, through the history of boxing, no doubt. No doubt. Um, where are we? Yeah, bad posture. I agree. Um, uh, there's some comments that I've missed out on. I'd expect Shannon, I'd expect Shannon to be different in the second fight. Mm. Uh, don't, <laughs> don't, uh, because she's just up against uh, someone who's just got way, way, way more time, way, way, way more time in the ring. And uh, the fundamentals of Rachel Ball are just vastly superior to the fundamentals of of uh, Shannon Courtenay. Yeah, yes, well, she's a, she's a nice little scrapper, but she's a nice little scrapper. But the thing is, if you ain't got fundamentals, if your fundamentals are poor, you're always going to be on a sticky wicket. That's a cricketing term for our American cousins. You're always going to be on a sticky, sticky, a sticky wicket if your fundamentals are not sound. And um, the thing that makes me, the thing that makes me laugh about women's boxing is that <laughs> you have so many women out there, women boxers who just they just come in. And uh, a few that, what, what, amateur fights. Did Courtney have an amateur career? I don't even know if she had an amateur career. I think she just came in as a pro without an amateur career. Tell me if I'm wrong. Um, with very, very poor fundamentals. And, and, and you, you, you go in there and you're a star. Same thing happened with the UFC. I started having women just women just deciding, yeah, I'm going to go and train with uh, UFC. A few, few months after training, they were in the octagon. And they had big names, and they were basic novices, <laughs> basic novices with poor fundamentals. Um, and uh, that's still the case. That's still the case in women's boxing. I think women's MMA has moved forward now, where most women actually they have their fundamentals in check. Uh, that's not yet the case in boxing, even though boxing has been going longer. I don't know. Maybe it's because in, uh, women women's MMA more of the women train with men. Maybe that's the case train alongside them maybe that's the case but in women's boxing you can come in with poor fundamentals and become a star dame 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 okay so let me get back into the thing 
before I come back into the chat, okay? Get your points in, get your thoughts in, get your observations in, okay? Let's scroll forward a little bit more. Yeah. Shannon's balance is all over the place. I mean, from a picture, you can tell where someone's center of balance is. Now, look at this picture. Look at this picture and tell me where Shannon's center of balance is. It's all over the place, mate. It's, where is it? So over there somewhere. It's over there. Center of balance is over here. It's all over the shop. Whereas even whilst being attacked, you can tell that Rachel, whilst not perfect, whilst not perfect, um, she has a better center of balance. And look where her hands are. Once again, the fundamentals, my friend, the fundamentals. I can't say it enough. I'm going to ram it in, ram it home. Okay. So you can see where the center of balance is now. Okay, right. Uh, Courtney's in a better, Shannon's in a better position now because she's on side. She's on the side. And you can see that she's ready to transition, maybe move the, the left foot forward a bit and she can whip, whip in a nice right at this point. Boom. Okay. Um, but now, what do we see? She's standing square. Basic fundamentals are all off. The left hand's down, the right hand's up. And what you can do with that right hand? Jeez. Holy guacamole. Holy guacamole. She just gets twisted up. She was in poor position. Let's see if we can replay that. I'm doing this. I'm not playing the thing because, you know, like I told, I just told you about Sky. Look at this. Look, 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 look. This is after she's been hit, but she was all over the place. The basic fundamentals, the basic fundamentals. She don't got it. She don't got it. Whereas look at, look at Rachel. Ladies and gentlemen, I present this to you as the difference between boxing, people in boxing and kickboxing. A novice boxer versus novice boxer but that kickboxing experience in the background that kickboxing experience in the background thousands of hours soft sparring soft sparring so you get real real comfortable when it comes time to throw down for real you just walk in there cool about cool as ice cool as ice and this is the outcome she just had way more fighting experience than shannon Okay, where are we? Where are we? Let me have a look at here. Let me have a look at look here. Two square on, two square on, indeed. <laughs> Should both be in pink gloves. O M G. That's sexist. <laughs> uh, okay, what's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on here? Let me have a look what's going on. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Um, Iron Kong says, Rachel, Rachel Ball just looks more polished than Shannon. I guess that the drawback, that's the drawback on female fighters sometimes. It's a large golf in talent. It's a large golf, large golf in talent. What do you mean large golf in talent? From the men's game? Or are you talking about a large golf in talent, talent between uh, Shannon Courtney and Rachel Ball? There is a large golf. There's a large golf in, there's a large golf in experience. I think they're both five and five, five fights or six fights, whatever, something like that. But there's a large golf in experience because Shannon took it up late. Fine. That's great. But the other girl there, Rachel. She's been kickboxing for years. And even if even if they'd been competing, even if even if Shannon had been boxing for years while Rachel was in kickboxing, still, still Rachel is the one with the better fundamentals. Um it's it's kind of amazing, it's kind of crazy that you have someone with such a big name, a young girl, well, a young lady, woman with such a, a big name in the game. Um, without fundamentals, without the proper fundamentals. She's got a good fighting heart. She's got a lovely fighting heart. She's a little scrapper. She's like a little Jack Russell um, with less technique than the Jack Russell, admittedly. But she's like a little Jack Russell, and she's a scrapper. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Um, but the fundamentals are just all at sea. Um, am I slating? Am I trying to tear her down? Absolutely not. i got a soft spot for Shannon. I want her to get better. But she's got to get the bloody fundamentals. If I'm her trainer, you don't go in, you don't step in the ring until you got your damn fundamentals. And um, believe you me, 
She's got a long Shannon's Sh Shannon's got a long, long way to go before she gets her fundamentals right. She the basic fundamentals are not there. There's no two ways about it. There's no messing around. There's no skipping around. There's no jumping over it, getting under it, going around it. The basic fundamentals are not there. And they need to be. Um, a bit frustrating to watch, actually. Although very highly entertaining. Um, fundamentals can be fixed. Well, 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 how about we just get the fundamentals rather than fix them? There's nothing there to fix. There's no fundamentals there to fix. She's got to get the fundamentals. She's not got the fundamentals, so it's not fixing the fundamentals. It's getting the fundamentals. It's getting the foot right. It's getting the, getting the front foot right and the back foot right and understanding why the front foot's at the front and the back foot's at the back and understanding where your center of gravity should be. Learn how to pivot into a punch. It does turn into a punch. It's quite nicely, but the, the front foot's in the wrong place. And due to the front foot not being in the front, she ends up being square. She ends up being square when she gets hit on the chin. What happens when you get in that chin when you get square? When you're square, you're going to go down. You're going down. Going down. And that's what happened. She went down. Okay, let's get back into the thing um, before we get back into the chat. I'm, 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 I'm hopscotching. I'm, I'm going betwixt the two. I'm flipping, flicking betwixt the two. Okay, remember? The right there was there. And I said, what's she going to do with that right? Okay, this is what happened. Boom. Holy guaca moly. Holy guaca moly. Um, dame, dame, dame. Can't play around with that image too much. You know what Sky I like. Uh, no, she took it up late, so she didn't have an amateur career. So, damn, you know, didn't have an amateur career. So, what does this say? Uh, Mr. J up in the building. This was her first real fight. She's been fighting tomato cans. Even tonight, Boar has a full-time job. <laughs> yeah, Boar does have a full-time job. Boar is a social worker. Um, feet too wide. Absolutely. You know, feet too wide. Back to the small hall shows within two years. Um, small hall shows would, would Shannon really need to go back to small hall shows? I would imagine she'd just retire and get the hell out of Dodge. Get the hell out of Dodge. Why, 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 why stick around? Get a proper job. Uh, this has been a, a fantastic experience. It's something to tell her grandkids. Absolutely more, absolutely more. But um, to 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 go and get the go and get your face all scarred up from those little cuts, from those little nicks, the nicks and cuts. Does she really need that? Just go and get a damn job. Go and get an office job, something. Hopefully, can she get an office job? Theoretically, I guess she could. I wish she would. After she finishes, I don't want to see. Are just lingering around, loitering around in small halls. What for? It's not as if she's a great technician that people are going to want to see based on her technique. You know, she's got a name. She's a cute, cute young woman. Um, and I guess, you know, people people have taken to her kind of. I have, you know. Um, she's a, like I say, I'll probably leave. I'll remember to leave the, or at the end, the playlist at the end of this will be, I'll include uh, the women's, the women's boxing playlist, the women's boxers playlist. I'll include that in the playlist. Okay, let's go and have a look, another little. This is the. Are you seeing this? Okay, I think you can. Yeah, this is the. The knockdown, the one knockdown of the fight. Okay. What? What? I don't need any volume on that. That's just more problems. Okay. Boom. Boom, boom. So she went down, but got up immediately, immediately afterwards. Um, I don't think she was hurt. She was just caught off, off balance, poor balance. The victim of her own poor balance. You know, I think her trainers have got something to answer for how, how they're putting in, her in the ring with without the basic fundamentals. Without the basic fundamentals. Um. <laughs> You know that that's just that's just wrong. That's just wrong. Should have the basic fundamentals to get in there. But as I was saying before, yeah, it's going to be a great stand, a great story to tell the kids and the grandkids. Um, like what, fifty years from now, forty years from now, she'll be uh, parents or uh, her kids will be telling her kids' kids 
about grandma when grandma used to be in a fight and used to be on TV. She used to be a boxer. Um, yeah, but I don't expect Shannon to be sticking around. It's not like she's some kind of technic technical wizard that people are going to be coming to see based on her technique. They're coming to see based on her story from being a girl working in a chip shop or whatever to being on TV as a boxer with poor fundamentals, but uh, um, somehow endearing, somehow endearing. Um, where are we now? I had money on ball, runs marathons for fun, and uh, Shannon did used to be 18 stone. Has to play a part. Yes, Shannon was a big girl. Um, I'll leave the link. I'll leave the link to to my women's playlist where I have a video of uh, a boxing transformation. And we're talking about Shannon Courtney's transformation. Used to be a big, big girl. I think that's part of the part of the attraction of Shannon. She used to be a big, fat girl. And then she uh, did something about it. So I think that's part of the, the attraction of Shannon. Uh, sometimes between each other, not in comparison to the men. I get you. I get you. I hear you. Iron Kong. Um, where are we? Ball weighed eight stone. Courtney was nine. Shannon doesn't even have, have power. I think she's got some power. I didn't know there was a one stone disparity. I was going to say that Shannon looks like she's got a bit of extra meat on her. She's got an extra meat, a bit of meat on her. So, um... Ball weighed eight stone. Shannon was nine. Really? Really? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Um, I've still got to watch the fight. Seeing the knockdown, though. Shannon has been way too confident, although it sounds as though she should have at least, she should have, she should have got at least a draw. No, 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 no. Um, Bitcoin boxing up in the building. No, uh, she shouldn't have got a draw. I had... I had the score written down. Uh, if you want to check out my previous live when we go and talk, uh, the live show talking about the fight, live commentary um, before the announcement was read. Of course, I was marking the fight and uh, I said, uh oh, uh oh, because I don't check the tally. I don't do the tally. I just write down the numbers. I just mark the fight as it goes along, but I don't I don't do the tally until the very end. So I did not know. I did not know what I had, what the scores were until I at the end of the fight when I did the tally and I said, uh oh. I said to people, uh oh. Um that's when I realized I had the fight scored at 75, 77, 75 for, for Courtney. Shannon Courtney and 77 for Ball, Rachel Ball. Um, so, boom, boom, boom. Too harsh, Rafi. It's only one defeat. Uh, it's only one defeat. Hey, listen, I, I like Shannon and I wish her well. Um, I'd be happy. I'd be, hey, hey. Um, I'd be happy to see her progress. I want to see her progress. I like her story. She was a big, fat bird who turned herself around, got, got herself in hand, started boxing for fitness, and next thing you know, boom, she signed up by Eddie Hearn. That's an amazing story. That's a beautiful story. It's a wonderful story. Um, but the fundamentals aren't there, mate. It's not even a question of fixing it. They just aren't there, you know? Um, huh. I don't want to mention the trainers, you know, because you don't know what's happening. Maybe they're telling her to do it and she's not doing it. I don't know. I don't know. But the fundamentals have to be there. The simple fundamentals of knowing where your feet should be. One, your feet, your, your, your balance, of your balance, your center of gravity, your ability to move, your ability to move. How does she move? Your ability to move forwards, backwards, laterally, diagonally. All of those basic fun. Forget about the punching. Forget about the punching. That comes last. Movement. Defense. High guard. Knowing to keep your, your gloves away from the nipples and up to the chin. You know? Just those fundamentals. Forget about punching. I want to see those fundamentals. That's what I want to see. Eddie Hearn says she's just getting started. Yeah, she's just getting started. Um... Playing mute to avoid sky. No, it don't matter with them. They're, they're, they're red hot on it, mate. They're red hot on it, mate. Um, 
Yeah, flash knockdown, bad shape, spot on, 100%. Who even cares about some chav getting beat anyways? <laughs> is she still with Booth? Yes, I believe she is. I believe. Oh, yeah, that's that's the trainer, isn't it? Yeah, I forgot she was with him. I forgot she was with him. Yeah, she spoke about being in a great place, uh, training-wise. Um, yep, sleepy, sleepy time for James. Good to have you up in here, James. Good to have you up in here. Um, versus nine stone, versus nine stone. Uh, can't lie, I'm happy, ball one, local Brummy girl. Yes, she is. She's a local West Midlands girl, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I think I want to speak to her. I think I want to speak to her, bring her over here onto the channel. Um, uh, there's 12, there's 12 pounds, there's, there's 14 pounds in a stone, 14 pounds in a stone, half a stone is seven pounds. Um, yeah, yeah, local girl, local girl. Uh, yeah, I'm happy for her. Uh, I, I'm not too sad for Courtney. She's a young girl. She hasn't got her fundamentals right yet. So the way she's got to look at it is what, what happens when I get my fundamentals right? Okay. Yeah, I lost. But wait until I get my fundamentals right. When I get my fundamentals right, it's going to be hell to pay. It's going to be hell to pay for these girls when I get my fundamentals right. Look at how far I've come without having any fundamentals. That's what that's what Shannon should be thinking. That's what Shannon should be saying. Look how far I've come without having any fundamentals. Um, let's see that little knockout again. Holy hell. Get the volume off. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Boom. 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 But she was up straight away. She was up straight away. So it was more a question of balance. More a question of balance that uh, took her down. Um, but yeah, ultimately, what we're talking about is we're talking about so much more time. So much more time in the ring. As a matter of fact, rat -tat -tat -tat, why not think of that be foul? Why not think of that be foul? So much more time in the ring for Rachel Ball than Shannon Courtenay. And um, uh, much more fundamentals. Much more fundamentals um, from Rachel Ball. Where is that? Is that there? Okay. So, I've got an idea. Let me... I'm not sharing that, am I? Is that what I'm sharing? Is that what I'm sharing? I don't think so. I don't think it's that. I want to move over and share something slightly different. I want to share something slightly different. Let's uh, go into this and let's go into images. Let's share some images now. Uh, Shannon Courtney, Rachel Ball. Let's get Rachel Ball in the equation. Okay, well, let's show you this anyway, because that was how... Stop sharing that and start sharing this. Where is it? Boom, boom, boom. How are you seeing that? How's that coming up on your screen? Well, I think I could make this bigger for show. Could I make it bigger for show? Yeah, I think I could. And I know how. I got the know how. How does that look now? Okay, a little bit bigger. Okay, but you get the gist. You can see the picture. You can see what I'm saying. So that was Shannon. That was Shannon in her previous form. Let's get it a little bit bigger. Okay, that's better. Far better. So that was Shannon in her previous form. Uh, chunky, chunky girl. Chunky girl. Got into boxing and trimmed down dramatically. So I think that's part of that's part of the, the, the appeal. That's part of the appeal of Shannon. Um, the before picture. And then the after picture. Before and after. As a matter of fact, I can just keep on scrolling like this, can't I? Yeah, there you go. There you go. How's that looking? Yeah, pure and simple. Pure and simple. That's the body transformation of Shannon Courtenay. And I think that's part of the appeal. As part of the as part of the attraction. Um, boxing saved me. Boxing saved me. 
before and after inspirational pictures. Yeah, that's the, that's part of the story. That's part of the story of Shannon Courtenay. What's going on here? Boxing saved me. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So what else is there to say? Yeah, Shannon Courtenay. Shannon Courtenay catches her first L. And, um, well, what the hell? It bees like that sometimes without fundamentals. She's got now fundamentals. Fundamentals are poor. She's got to work on her fundamentals. I wish her well on her comeback trail, uh, which will inevitably happen. Um, but I don't know, man. I don't know. She's just got to get, she's just got to get, is she still with Adam, Adam, Adam Booth? Well, is he getting through to her? He's, he's clearly not getting through to her. I don't know. I mean, he's had it for a while now, and she, the fundamentals still aren't there. Come on, please. What's going on? What's going wrong? Something's going wrong, surely. And uh, I can just hope hope that Shannon Courtenay, you know, she, she gets whatever she needs to get right. She gets right and uh, comes back, comes back with, with, with the in basic fundamentals in place intact she needs them needs to come back with the basic fundamentals and uh hopefully hopefully uh she comes back strong where are we where are we um forgot to put the link in the chat <laughs> i forgot to put the link in the chat but never mind that is that's pretty much what i want to say pretty much what i wanted to say and uh yeah, I stop sharing that. And uh, once again, start sharing this. And uh, yeah, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the... What am I doing? I'm sharing, still sharing the same thing. Stop sharing that. I'll share something different. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the share button. Don't forget to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend. Get the word out there. Get the word around. Uh, the place to be. At a time like this is the Raphael Dawkins Combat Radio. And, uh, yeah, Shannon Courtney takes her first loss. Commiserations to Shannon Courtney. And congratulations to Rachel Abor. Okay, so that's it. It's the Raphael Dawkins. It's the Combat Radio. It's the like. It's the subscribe. It's the comments. It's the shares. And it is the hitting that bell icon to stay updated with news and notifications. And don't forget about the live show. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. And don't forget whatever you're not supposed to forget, which I've just forgot. It's the Raphael Dawkins. It's the Combat Radio. And the only left thing left for me to say is, bless it.